Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your F5 Big IP APM by deploying a LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your F5 Big IP APM using the web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click domains and then click create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click create to complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to your VMware ESXi console. Right click and click Deploy an OVF template. Under Select an OVF template, select Local File and then Choose Files. Navigate to the location of the LoginTC Radius Connector OVA file. Select it and click Open. Click Next. Enter a name for the appliance and click Next. Select a relevant compute resource and click Next. Review the details and click Next. Select a relevant storage and click Next. Select a relevant network and click Next. Now you've completed the Deploy an OVF template wizard. Click Finish. To view the newly deployed appliance, select the instance and open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Log in using the LoginTC user user with default password LoginTC Radius. One word, all lowercase. Once logged in, type setup and hit enter. Hit enter and pick a new password for the LoginTC user user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does not affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Now that the network is configured, the web server will automatically turn on. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated next to Administration Panel URL. Remember to include HTTPS and port 8443 when composing the URL. Enter the same password you configured to log in. Find the LoginTC Organization API key by navigating to the LoginTC Admin Panel. Click Settings. Scroll down to the API section and click Click to View. Copy the Organization API key and paste it into the form. Click Next. Confirm your LoginTC organization and click Continue to LoginTC Radius Connector. If you have an existing LoginTC Radius Connector deployed, you can import the configurations. In this case, we will configure a new LoginTC Radius Connector. Click No to continue to the administration panel. 
Now your login TC Radius connector virtual appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now you are going to add a new endpoint to accept authentication requests. If you have not created an application, navigate to the login TC admin panel and click application. Type F5 and then click F5 Big IP APM. Go back to the Login C Radius connector and click Create Your First Endpoint. The Login C Radius connector will retrieve your applications from your Login C organization. Pick the F5 Big IP APM application by clicking it. To get the application API key, go to the Login C Admin panel in the newly created application. Copy the application key and paste it. Scroll down, click Test, and Next. Now configure First Factor Authentication. If you use a RADIUS server for First Factor Authentication, you can select RADIUS. For this video, First Factor Authentication will be configured using an Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port. And then in the BindDN field, enter the distinguished name of a user that has read access to the directory. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the Login TC Radius connector to connect to Active Directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all of your users reside. Fill out the username and filter attribute as needed. Scroll down, click Test, and then Create. Now select your newly created Active Directory user directory. For group attribute, select None. Click Next. Now pick a challenge strategy. This feature allows you to configure which users should be challenged with second factor. You can pick a static list of usernames or base challenging on Active Directory group membership. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control the rollout of two-factor authentication to your user base. In this video, we will pick Challenge All Users. Finally, configure the Radius client. Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your endpoints list. Enter the IP address where the authentication request will originate from. If you have multiple RADIUS clients with their own IP addresses, you can add them here as well. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see RADIUS connector and the RADIUS client. Pick iframe for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test and create. Now your endpoint is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your endpoint. Go to the Login TC Admin panel and from the Users tab, click Create Your First User. The username must match the username in your Active Directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address. For domain membership, make sure the domain you've just created is selected. Click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with Login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app and click Add Token and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your login to see domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with login TC. Refresh the page to confirm the token is loaded. Now click test token to open the test token modal. Click send notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. 
This test verifies that both first factor and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the endpoint configuration is correct before modifying your RADIUS client. Click your newly created endpoint. Click test endpoint to open the test endpoint modal. Enter the username and password and click test endpoint. The test endpoint modal will behave the way the authentication mode is set in the endpoint. Click send me a request to receive an authentication request. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first factor and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your F5 Big IP APM using the web UI interface. On the Login TC Radius Connector, under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and the Radius authentication and accounting ports. Now navigate to the F5 Web UI interface. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. On the left hand menu, click Access, then open up Authentication and click Radius. Click Create to add the Login TC Radius connector as a Radius authentication server. Enter a name for the new Radius authentication server. Make sure the mode is set to Authentication and select Direct for the server connection. This mode can also be set to Use Pool if you wish to deploy multiple LoginTC Radius authentication appliances. Under the server address, enter the IP address of the LoginTC Radius connector. Ensure the authentication service port is set to 1812 and enter the same Radius server secret used when creating the configuration on the LoginTC Radius connector. Set the timeout to 90 seconds, set retries to 1, and click Finished. Now you will update the access policy to begin using this new Radius authentication server. On the left hand menu, open up Profiles and click Access Profiles. Select your desired access profile. Open the Access Policy tab and click Edit Access Policy for Profile. There are a variety of ways to implement access policies with X5 Big IP APM. For this video, we will be assuming that the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance will be performing first and second factor authentication. See the documentation for examples on how to split up that work between the F5 and the Login TC Radius Connector. After the AD Auth successful path, click the Add Item. Click Authentication. Select Radius Auth and click Add Item. Change the name to Login TC Radius Auth. Make sure the AAA server is the newly created authentication server pointing to the Login TC Radius Connector. Click Save. Remove the AD Auth box since the Login TC Radius Connector will be performing first factor authentication. Click X, then click Delete. Now close the policy. Click Apply Access Policy, then Apply. Now you will customize the login page of the F5 web portal in order to display the Login TC iframe authentication prompt. On the left hand menu, select Profiles slash Policies, Customization, then Advanced. Switch to Advanced Customization View. Expand Access Profiles, Your Access Profile, then the Access Policy. Expand the login pages and select Logon dot inc. On your keyboard type control F then enter forward slash HEAD. Right before the ending head tag you will enter a new F5 code snippet 
that will display the iframe authentication prompt to users when they're logging into the web portal. Open up the LogInTC F5 documentation page. Part of the F5 Big IP APM configuration quick guide, under step 16, there is a link for the F5 code snippet. Open this link in a new tab. Select all of the text and copy it. Navigate back to the F5 web UI interface and paste the contents of the code snippet. Make sure the snippet is before the ending head tag. Now replace your underscore domain underscore ID with your actual domain ID. On the LoginTC admin panel, on the domain page, copy the domain ID and paste it in the appropriate location. You may need to find your place again in the file. You can do this by clicking Control F, then forward slash HEAD. Once complete, click Save Draft, then click Save. Then apply the new changes by clicking Apply Access Policy. Click Apply. Now your F5 Big IP APM web portal is protected with strong authentication from Login TC. Now test F5 Big IP APM using the F5 web portal with both first factor authentication against Active Directory and second factor using Login TC. Navigate to the F5 web portal. Enter the username and password, and then click Log On. Now users will be presented with an authentication prompt in order to authenticate with LoginTC second factor authentication. Next to LoginTC push, click Send Me a Request to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your F5 Big IP APM protected web portals securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication.